Hello, what is up guys, it's Jayco, and uh, we are on Ascend Hand of Coal. Um, this is a free-to-play arcade game. You can go pick it up for free. It's really, really good, and I couldn't resist but to make a video on it just to show that it's actually pretty good for a free game. So you should so totally download it. It's well worth it considering it's free. Um, pretty much, I may do a few more videos, I'm not too sure, I have to see, um, but I'm just going to teach you the kind of basics and tell you a bit more about this game because when downloading it and when you're put into the game, it is quite daunting at first because you don't really know what you're kind of doing, um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping to um, achieve is to help you guys kind of get into it a bit more, so uh, let me go into a bit more than that. Uh, right, let's keep that. Right, pretty much this game is a kind of multiplayer open world. Uh, it kind of feels like Fable in some ways. It kind of has like some Fable elements to it. Like it kind of feels like a Fable kind of game. It's kind of like an open game. Like you travel to different worlds and stuff, um, and uh, you dominate different areas of the map and stuff. But um, at the beginning of the game, you make your own character. Ow. You make your own character, and um, uh, I think they're called, uh, like, Sio, like, Seos or something like that. They have, like, a really weird name, so sorry if I don't pronounce that right. Um, uh, yeah, so you make it, you choose all your armor and gear. Uh and uh, you choose a god, there's three gods you can choose out of, there's the dark god, the void do uh, the void god, and the light god. I chose the light god because um, that's what I prefer, because the light god is more to do with combos and speed. Uh, the dark god, you can obviously tell, is to do with strength, but you're a bit slower. And the Void God is to do with magic, because uh, you can cast magic, if I quickly show you, and I just got an achievement. Killing Fields, yep, that's boss like me. Yeah, you can cast magic. Um, just let me deal with these guys quickly, and I'll show you a bit more to do with the magic. Yeah, alright. You may notice that there's little... <laughs> Level up, okay, sweet, I just leveled up. You may notice that there's actually, like, little, uh, human, humans running about. Um, pretty much they assist you if you capture their kind of domination base. Uh, because there's little, little shrines hidden about around the map, and, uh, you capture them, and that kind of area becomes your team. And just in time. So, you can see that is clearly... Ah, oh, there's two. That's a red ghost, and that's a yellow ghost. They're actually real players playing right now. And uh, what I can do... Uh, the red one, he, he's a dark god, so I don't... I want to destroy him. I want to take him out and get some XP from that. Yellow one, I want to try and help him, because he's actually on the light god, and he's on my team. So, if I press LT, you can see that curse light uh, broadling will come up. Uh, an arrow will highlight over the red, the red ghost, and I can actually press B while holding LT to actually summon enemies into his world and try and kill him. And uh, if my enemies do damage to him, I get XP, I get more equipment, I get better stuff. And if I kill him, well, that's even more of a result. But let's just see how how we're doing here. Um, let's see, well. He looks okay. So, the yellow one, he's on my team. He's a light god. So, uh, you can actually, if I uh, go into uh, spells, if I go to spells, uh, this is where you can buy different spells. Uh, obviously, because I'm the light god, I've got more lightning kind of types, um, kind of spells here. And these are to do with the void and the darks and stuff. So yeah, that's a void one because they're kind of color coded. Uh, void is blue, obviously, and uh, red is dark. Um, so yeah, this is a you have 
a curse spell, which is these, which pretty much, um, like, you can summon stuff to other people's worlds and try and take them out to get more XP for yourself. Or, uh, you have Banish, which is, um, if there's enemies into my world, um, uh, let me try and find an enemy. I don't know if I can. I uh, don't think I'll be able to, but pretty much Banish is that if there's enemies in, in your world, you can use Banish and bring him to his world so you get rid of your enemies and bring him into his. Um, let's see. Uh, blessing. Blessing uh, is like more um, uh, bonuses so you can help your uh, teammates out. Ah, here we go. Right, so let me um, buy a Banish for 500 souls. You can see in the top right, there's my souls. You have to buy stuff with souls, so let's purchase two. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to banish these lot and bring it to this red guy's world. So here we go. Wait. There we go. So they're going to go to his world, and they will try and take him out for me. There you go, you banish two enemies to... I I didn't get to read his name. Yep. But they're not really that good, though, them en they, those enemies, so uh, I don't expect them to do much, but... Oh, uh, he's running away. <laughs> oh, well. But, um... Let me show you what a blessing does quickly. Now this guy is here. If I shield of God durability, ooh, they're quite expensive. Let's just get this. Let's just buy one. And let's just follow this guy about. Um, so you can see if I uh, press the bumpers, I can swap between my curses and my banishes and stuff. And uh still gonna try and take him out. <laughs> um, but I need to the gate is locked, yes, right. Uh you can see that on the mini map you obviously do have quests, you do have your main quests and side quests, um what you can do. Uh this should travel to the fortress gatehouse. Um Oh yeah, I forgot to say this is actually a beta, this is in beta stage, this is one point two of this game. Um, so, there will be, you probably will see a few glitches, because I have experienced a few glitches myself while playing this game at first, um, but, ah, so we're in a dungeon, right, so dungeons, dungeons, uh, at 12 o'clock a.m., uh, P PST time, I think that's what it is. Uh, dungeon dungeons actually do change their appearance and the way they look, and different loot and enemies inside every every day uh, at midnight. So I thought that was quite a cool fe like feature. So it gives you a reason to go into the dungeons. Um. So maybe I can. Uh, nah, nah, he's gone. I was going to banish some enemies to his world, but he, he went off. Um, so stun him. Get rid of them. They're quite annoying. Nope, not working. Alright, there we go. Okay. So you can loot stuff, obviously, what you saw me do at the beginning. You get stuff, uh, you can pair, so that's actually worse than my sword. So I don't really want that, because that's a bit suckish. That's minus 23 to the sword I've got now on damage. So I want to sell that for 165 souls. So I'm get some souls down by my health bar down there. Uh, obviously that 12 is my uh, level, and the yellow kind of bar below is the XP. Uh, oh. <laughs> Didn't know they were there. Uh, you can stomp on humans uh, by pressing right on the right bumper. And uh, 
It won't let me do it, these ones. Oh, well. And you can also eat humans for health by pressing down on the D-pad. Um, but yeah, humans can be quite deadly. There's a lot of them if they're on... Like, if you try and invade someone else's base. So, for a good, a good example... Um, say if I try to evade one of the Void's base... Obviously, all the humans are going to be, uh, like, s supporting the Void God. So, they'll try and kill me. And they, like, shoot arrows and spears. And they can be quite deadly if there's a lot of them. So, and uh, I probably want to do this. Get rid of them. Ow. Ow. They do quite a lot of damage. I didn't even realise. Oh! Oh! God. What's going on? Okay, right. He's a really powerful. <laughs> Let's get rid of him. Alright. Alright, you can press A to do some execution moves. That just gives you a tiny XP boost. Like, tiny XP bonus. Which can be quite handy. Let's just get rid of these. Oh! Alright. Okay. Um. Oh god, it's quite a lot. Right, stun one of them. These are, these are pretty weak. These enemies, but they're they're really annoying. Really annoying because they teleport. But there's quite a cool glitch. Was well, quite handy, which I will imagine they probably will patch. That if you get them trapped in a corner, they're pretty much screwed. Um. Ha, ah, cool. Treasure Forge Souls. Alright, let's get rid of some of these. Stun one of them. Yes, that's what I wanted to stun. I've almost got my special ability. Oh, yep, okay, I've got my special ability now. So you can do different combos uh, with your attacks. The pretty much combat is uh, if you hold RT, you can block, and uh, you can dash if you hold RT while pressing X. And uh, if you dash while pressing X or Y, you can do like different dash attacks and stuff. Uh, you can do different combos like there's X and Y. Uh, there's X X Y. Uh, X, 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 Y, and obviously X, 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 and then Y. Um, that's pretty much the combat system. Uh, it's a bit basic, but I imagine they, they might try and improve it, like, when this game gets a bit, like, better and more updates. Because uh, you have to remember, this is only 1.2, and it's still in the beta stage. Ow. Alright, let's get rid of them. Let's do a power attack. There we go. Right. Get rid of him. No. A pretty good tactic with these things, because they teleport when you hit them, is to keep dashing and doing a Y dash move, because then you can just keep hitting them as they teleport back. Um, oh, cool. Ruins. Um, ruins, uh, if I show you... Um, uh, let's go to inventory. Uh, that needs repairing, so I need to repair my helmet. Uh, you can need to repair my helmet for 296 souls, so I can do that. Uh, that needs repairing as well. Does everything? Yeah, okay, pretty much everything needs repairing. Yeah, right. That's okay, because that's a legendary weapon. Uh, it's color-coded. It's a bit like Borderlands. Uh, that green is kind of rarish. Like green is kind of like your bog standard. Uh, blue, blue is like okay, that's pretty good. And obviously purple is like wow, that's really good kind of thing. Um, so ruins, can I? Yes. So ruins are pretty much your attachments. You can uh, add ruins to your weapons to make them stronger. So for example, the ruin I got that will add a five percent damage. So 72, that will go up to, um, 
I don't know. I'm not good at maths. Well, we'll just find out. Yeah, that'll go up to 76. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just made myself look like a plonker, and I got another achievement. Somehow, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm not good at maths. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I am dog shit at maths. <laughs> uh, anyway. Still can't do anything with those humans for some reason. Anyway. Anything good in here? Uh, no, nah, that's pretty suckish, so I want to sell that. You might as well sell any kind of weapons or armor, what you don't need, because then it just takes up room and you just get confused. Um, so yeah, a good tactic to get around fast is to just hold RT and X, because uh, you can't sprint on this, you can only waddle about. So uh, dashing is quite a good way to get around quickly. And uh, I think you can fast travel as well, but I don't like to fast travel because then you lose out on enemies and that means you lose out on XP and loot. Um, see, again, I don't want that, so let's just get rid of that by selling it. Alright, let's get rid of these. Okay, that was easy. So I've got a head for that star on my mini map, which I think I am getting quite close to. I'm not sure. I can't really tell. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is like a really badass enemy. <laughs> you want to be really careful with this. You want to kind of pay attention on what you're doing. Or you're just going to get owned by that ogre. Because he is very, very, very powerful. So quick, pay attention to what he's doing. I'm stuck by the enemies. Which is not good. Look, so he's throwing a rock, so we quick dodge that. Yep. Okay, dodge that. Alright. Try and get rid of the small enemies first. You don't want... Uh, why am I executing? That is a bad idea. Get out of the way. There we go. Um, Alright, so I got a new weapon. That's obviously for doing something. I want to get rid of this guy here. These are really annoying. Oh! As you can see, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> you want to avoid them at all costs. A good tactic to take these out is to... Um, dodge. There we go is to wait, well, if you're a light god, I don't know about the others, because the dark, dark god, you get a fireball, and I've just been cursed, thanks a lot. See, the blue dude, he's just cursed me to bring light wolves into my world, I have to destroy this statue to stop them from spawning, when this ogre's not doing me any favours, stun him to try and destroy this quickly, there we go, right, now, get out of the way, right, Thanks a lot. See, they can be really annoying. Oh, nice. Thanks a lot, guy. That that really helped me out. I feel like cursing you. Wait, I want I want payback. Let's get some payback, shall we? Let's go to uh, what do we want? Curse. Um, Storm wolves. Yeah, let's buy two of them. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be quite funny. Right. Let's place one here. Dodge out of the way quickly. And let's place one. Ah, uh, recharging. I didn't know I had to recharge, but oh well. And it looks like he's kind of dealt with that quite easily. Okay, that didn't really go as planned, but oh well. Let's dodge out of the way! Ooh, that was close. Alright. Anyway, I don't think I finished explaining my tactics because that douchebag there started doing me over. Yeah. So, when you're a light god, a good tactic is uh, to shock him with your shock bolt and just do a, a uh, four hit X move quickly and then quickly dash out of the way. Uh... And that guy just died, which is quite funny. Uh, that probably gave me a cyst of XP, because uh, probably my light 
my light wolves did something. So now quickly dodge out of the way. Yep. And he's back, so let's summon this again. Alright. <laughs> my light wolf's getting on. <laughs> Hopefully the ogre would do him over as well because obviously we can't see the ogre because obviously that'd be a bit unfair. If you could oh! And I better not die. Uh, so obviously he has this ogre after him as well, let alone the light wolves, which he destroyed the altar to, which is quite annoying and great. Now we've got a dark god in hi in here with us. Hopefully he doesn't do anything stupid. Um, but yeah, you just got to keep dashing around and just be really aware of what what you're doing. You don't want to go absolutely crazy with this guy because he's really deadly. Dash out of the way! God! Oh my god! Oh no, this is not good. I'm hoping that that guy does not. Ugh, okay, right, this is really intense. I'm on 6 HP. I don't think I'm gonna do this. I am probably gonna die. But. I don't know, maybe if I'm really, really careful. Oh, that was close. Okay. Let's just do two hits. I'm not doing a four hit combo on him because um, I'll be very, very risky with the situation I am in. So keep dashing away from him. Alright, let's just do that. Oh, uh, no! That was close. I'm scared of what these guys are going to do. I hope that these guys don't summon anything on me because they can see that I'm on low health. Because uh, they can see that I'm waddling about. That's why I'm dashing about so they can't really tell. Okay, dash away. Alright. Hopefully I can do this. It would be nice if I could in this kind of situation. Um, but I'm not too hopeful. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of thing quite annoying about this game. Oh, okay. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay. Oh, man, I'm under so much pressure right now. Come on, shock. Charge. Alright. Done it. Oh, that was close. Yes, and I think I leveled up as well. Yay! I did. Oh, that was close. <laughs> right. What's in these chests? Sweet blessing. We'll keep that. That could be quite handy for my teammates. And blessing. Protects the blessed players. for. Okay, so that protects players on my team. That's very nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now what we want to do, we want to destroy these, and the gate, what we saw up above, uh, will now be open, and I can travel to a new world, and that looks pretty good. Yeah, 98 plus. I will quit that. That's very nice. Alright, so let's sort that out. Wait. Um... Yeah, that's definitely better. Wait, can I repair it, maybe? This may be quite... One okay, 1,612. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Um. Ah, Crusade. Uh, this was really confusing to me at first. Uh, because what you do... Crusade is pretty much your level up system. So it says that your current level cap is 30, and I have to reach 20 to go to my next crusade if I want to level up more, if you get what I mean. If I want to put up my level cap, and when you crusade, you go into like this kind of heaven god place, and you actually sacrifice yourself. And uh, while you're doing that, uh, there's like altars, and you can place, you can place some of your, you can place one main item you want. 
or you can buy more altars for a thousand souls so you can keep more stuff. Because once you sacrifice yourself, you lose your stuff. So you got to try and think, oh, okay, what do I want? So, for example, I lost all my armor because I wanted my sword because I did not want to lose that because that's pretty good and that's really rare to get. So I kept that for my new god. And uh, when you choose a new god, like when you make your own Seos or whatever it's called, which is this thing you are now, this giant thing, uh, you choose a new god and the gods offer you something like they can offer you like so a certain amount of souls or a certain amount of banishes or something simple along that line and you pretty much just choose the best offer really and uh, you join that god for your next for your next journey really um but yeah i hope i was a bit more i hope i didn't weren't too confusing on what was going on <laughs> i hope i did my best to explain what was happening. Um, but if I go to the gate quickly, just to show you what it what it opened. Uh, let's get rid of these guys first. Alright. Stab him. Shock. Out. Get rid of him. Okay. So pretty much doing the dungeons. Hey look, it's collectible. Yeah, these are collectibles. If you go up to them, uh, some kind of little story appears. Where the blood goes deep into the earth. Where the souls of fallen warriors are asleep. Savage berserkers are born red of skin. Drunk of blood of slain. They attack with sudden and vicious ferocity. Uh, but yeah, the dungeons open these, these kind of looking door, like these stone looking doors. And uh, yeah, there that shrine marks the blood goes deep, spilled when the fortress fell into the titan. The kind of blood will spawn powerful trolls, destroy them and purify this ground with the light. Ah, well while I'm here I can show you like the whole dominating system. And then I'll end it. And that's rubbish. I don't want that. That's so you can call humans on you by pressing up on the D-pad. And they climb on you. And they will shoot arrows off you. And you can obviously use them as health. And oh my god, what the hell is this enemy? This is new to me. Let's get rid of them. Smash them in the face. Nice. Right. Get rid of him. Stomp on his head. Curb stomped. Yeah. Ah, so my teammate is there, so maybe I can help him out. So let's give him a, let's give him some defense. So there you go, buddy, you can have some defense. Just to help him out. And he needs health as well, so I don't know. Yeah, let's give him a health boost. There you go. Hopefully that'll help him out. I'm hoping I didn't just waste that. And he still looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I don't know if I'll waste any more of my blessings on you. If if you're already like that still. So, wave two, okay. Alright, out. Oh my god, they are powerful. Right, um, God, they are really powerful. Alright, let's get rid of these, these are annoying. There we go, right. Alright, let's do that, nice. God, wave three, there's three, oh no, oh, frenzy, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. I imagine something not good. This is not... This is not good. At all. Oh! I'm dead. I died and my armor is breaking like hell. 
All right, let's repair some stuff. Probably may have been the reason why I was getting owned. Yeah, okay. Okay. Why did you curse me, you absolute pelic? See, people don't understand the game. Like, he's on my own team, but yet he cursed me and, like, brung enemies to my world. I don't know why you want to do that. It's just annoying. You're supposed to do that to the other colours, not your own colour. But, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be a thing they could update, that you can't curse your own team. That would be nice. Because uh, I have been cursed quite a bit by my own teammates because they don't understand what they're doing. They kind of just like, oh, well, I've been told to curse people. Let's just... God damn it. See, now I'm going to face a real person because <laughs> everything's happening at once. Oh, my God. And I'm probably going to die. This guy is pretty good. Yeah, this is a real player I'm facing against. He tries. He's, he's trying to evade my base. He's trying to take over my base, and I'm not going to let him. So if he wins, he gets my base. If he loses, he fucks off, pretty much. <laughs> and obviously, I get XP boost. Um, yeah, but hopefully I can kill this guy. I'm pretty scared. He has some pretty good armor, so he has good defense, but I think his weapon's a bit shite. So where is he? There he is. All right, okay, come on. Bring it on, sucker. Go on. Oh, yeah, that's it. Bam! Oh, baby! Right, let's do that. Okay. Go on, humans. Attack him. That's it. Oh, man. Ow. That's it. Come on, get owned. Come on! That's it, he's getting owned, this is it! Finished! Try and overtake my base? Oh no, I don't think so. I'm glad that happened, because um, I wasn't sure if that was going to happen anytime soon. I wanted to show you guys that. Because that's a pretty uh, big part of the game. That people trying to overtake your base and you got to defend it. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to walk back to uh, the shrine bit. And defeat the wave. The final wave, hopefully. I think it's the final wave. I just have to do it again. If I have to do it again, that'd be really annoying. Whoa. Wave one. Okay. Yeah, but I have to do it again. That's really annoying. Okay, here we go. Right, destroy the shrine. Let's overtake this base. I have no idea what green means. I I don't know what what that ghost is. Is that the light god? Maybe the colors just glitched out of it. I'm not sure. But oh, uh. wow. Now cleanse the last of the trolls spawned by the holy ground. No, we'll end it here. <laughs> ah. But wow, that was pretty difficult. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this gives you an idea of what Ascend is a like. Is <laughs> Ascend is a like. Uh, Ascend is like. Um, like I said, it's free to play. You don't have to pay a thing for it, which I'm really surprised about. This could easily get away of being a payable game. It's actually really good. It's a really addictive game once you get the hang of what you're doing. Um, if you'd like to see more of this, if you just want to see me playing it uh, like gen generally, uh, please let me know in the comments uh, because I'd love to do some kind of uh, mini Let's Play series on this. Like Obviously, I won't go crazy with it. Uh, I'll just probably just do a few more episodes if you want me to. But... Um, 
yeah, I'll leave it as that. So, I'll leave you looking at Melvin, because I named him Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> and I might want to repair that if I can. Yeah, alright, that cost me quite a lot. Anyway, like a favorite if you've enjoyed, subscribe to Sauce That Salad, and uh, I'll see you in whatever I do next, guys. So, see you later. Oh, and I f forgot to mention this game will eventually be properly online where you can play with people, like you won't see ghosts. Uh, you will be able to play like four player co-op, where someone can join your game and you work as a team and stuff. Um, but that hasn't been added into the game yet, it's going to be added quite soon. I'm not sure when, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I know a lot of people would be asking oh is this game going to be like properly online where you can play with your mates and stuff and yes the answer is yes you will be able to it just hasn't been added into the beta yet um, so yeah alright guys see you later